Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, a few videos ago, this is another in our series of Divi for Beginners. A few videos ago, we created a blog post. Let me show you how to build it with the visual builder there. It's great, it's fine, looks okay, and you've got all your details there. If we roll all the way down the bottom, you've got your comment, and we've got the footer at the bottom there. If I go back up to the top. Today we're going to show you how to create a template, make this a lot more interesting, really easy to do. So we're going to turn something like this into something like this, which is a little more interesting to me. We've got all the same content in there. We've put some custom things in there. We're going to have our latest automatic blog post pop up there. That's another thing that we did in previous video. If I roll down here and that Divi for Beginners playlist is down below this video for anybody who's interested. We've added our little email opt-in form that we created the other day and also a little contact form. And we've got an icon list again from another one of our videos. And of course, we've got our footer yet again. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to go down to my dashboard for this today. I'm going to go down to Divi. I'm going to use the theme builder. Once you've clicked on theme builder, it'll take you to this page. Here's the global footer that we did in a previous video. I'm going to add a new template over here. I'm going to click the little plus. I'm going to build a new template. I want it to actually affect all blog posts. You can do categories if you want to, or post with specific tags and all specific posts if you want to. But I want to do all my posts. So I'm going to check all posts. I'm going to hit create template. Now I've done that, it's automatically put in the global footer for us. If you wanted to have a custom footer for your blog posts, you could do that as well there. But I'm going to add a custom body today. Build a custom body. And by default, it puts in this section and prompts you to add a row. I'm going to click on the add new row. Because I want to put a sidebar in mine, I'm going to put in something like this. Now remember, you can make this your own. You can use your imagination and go mad. I'll keep this fairly simple today. But the first thing that we're going to need to do is roll down and put in a post content module right here. Because this is actually going to draw the content from all of the posts when we go in there. If you don't put that in there, your blog post is not going to turn up. If you want to, you can go inside here and style everything, headings, text, and everything like that. I'm going to leave it just as it is because we actually built our little blog post over here with the Divi build and we kind of styled it our own way. So if I go back over here, like I said, I'm going to leave that just as it is. But of course, I want more interesting things going on. I want to give it a, to a title up here. So I'm going to add a few things that I've saved to my library just to save a bit of time. I'm going to put my little blue title in there getting a bit squashed up because I've got a small column there. I'm going to take that down in size. Let's go into it. Now I can go straight to the text by hitting the little paintbrush there. Move this out of the way. I'm going to roll down. I'm going to take that font size down until it fits within our nice little column there. Something like that. Fantastic. Great. Underneath that, we created a latest post module the other day using a slider. So every time you create a new post, it's going to turn up here. I'm going to add that. So I'm going to add my double plus. If you're not sure how we did this, check out the playlist below. There it is, latest post. I'm going to add that one. Great. Okay, well, under our post content, I want to add the sort of email opt-in form, which was a section that I saved. So I'm going to hit the new section. Again, I'm going to add it from library. Let's roll down a bit. Here's the email opt-in section. I'm going to use that section. There it is right there. Then I'm going to add a contact form. We created a contact form as well. I'm going to do the same thing. That was a section I saved. I'm going to add it from the library. I roll down again. There's the contact. I want them to be able to reach out and get in touch as well. So we've got our address details and telephone number. Let's add that as well with the little icon list that we built the other day. 
There it is right there. Fantastic. For anybody that's not quite sure what I'm do here, doing here, saving and loading, I'll get a page up and just show you exactly what goes on there. Let's go to my post zone over here. Go to pages. Let's take any page. I'm going to edit it with the Divi. And let's go up there. In any of these elements, whether it's a module, the dark tab, a row, the green tab, or a section, you can save to your Divi library. And that's where I've been loading them from. To save anything, just go to the thing you want to save. You'll see a little round icon just next to the trash can. Add section to library. Give it a name. Something that makes sense to you. Just hit save to library and it saves it as a JSON file to your database. And that's where I've been loading them from. Just in case somebody wasn't sure what was going on. So back over in the theme builder. I've got just about everything I want now. I've got my little address details down there. A little contact form from email opt-in. Over here, we've got a little title. And our little latest blog post, whatever it is, will always pop up there. Well, let's make the background a little more interesting. This is just like any other Divi page now. I think previously we put in kind of sci-fi background. Background's always under content. You've got color, gradient, background image, background video, background pattern and background mask there. You can combine several of these. Check out our backgrounds video. You can do some crazy stuff. I'm just going to add an image to mine for the moment. I believe that's the image I put in there before. And uh, let's just make it parallax. I'll make it CSS parallax or fixed background. That way it stays there while you scroll down the site. That image stays in the background there. Fantastic, that's working great. Great, well let's save that. Now at the moment all your post and content is going to have this white background on there. Now you can't actually change that here. That's actually because we built it with the Divi Builder. That's the background of the section that our post has there. I mean, you might like the white. Stand out nicely. You can read everything nicely. But if you want to further customize it, we can do that quite easily. Before we do that, let's save everything here. Little purple button. We'll save our changes over here. We'll X out. Make sure everything's saved in the Theme Builder page here. Now, here's the post as it was originally. I just refresh this page. Now, we've got this. And like I say, if you want to change that white background, really easy to do. That looks quite nice to me. I think up before I turned it dark and had light writing on there, very easy to do. Once we're in the post, we can just enable the visual builder. And once we're in there, we can roll over. Click on the post, little section tab, the blue one will come up here. You can go in there. Change the background to whatever you want. I'm going to put a black in there. It's okay, but I want to see a little bit of that image bleeding through. I'm going to click left click on the color field here, a little variegated slider. I'm going to pull the opacity down just so we can see a hint of that background bleeding through for interest. To me, that's kind of nice. And that text there, I think I might take it up a little bit in shade so it's a bit brighter. I don't think I'll use a full white. Let's save our section settings here. And we use a little text module to put in our post content there. I'm going to go in there. Once I'm in there, we've got the paint brushes for the text. Just click on one of them. I think white will be too bright. I mean, you can see it really well, but to me, that's just too bright on the background. Obviously, you do whatever you want. I'm going to Take it down a shade, perhaps to that. That's still very legible to me, but it's not quite as contrasting on that back. And like I say, you can go on ad infinitum. You can make these things exactly how you want. I've done a quite quick version here. Once you've changed your post right here. You can exit out. And that's made it a little bit more interesting. If we go to a different post now, you're going to find that it's probably still got that white background. Let's try one. Let's go back to our posts here. We'll try this one. We'll just view it. Yep, it's still got that white background. And you can do exactly the same thing if you want to. Simply go in there. 
click on the white section. We'll go in there. Change it, or you can take the background away fully if you want. Just put it transparent if you want it to be transparent. And that text with no background, I think it'll work quite well with a white in there. We'll hit that little paintbrush again. That's okay. It's a little distracting with the image in the back there. So I think I might put that color in the back. But those things are entirely up to you. We'll save our page change, you see. And exit out. But as you can see, the background is there. And if we roll down, we've got our email opt-in, our contact, and our details here. And of course, we've got our latest post right here. Oh, I quite like that. So there you go, guys. There's how to use the theme builder to add a custom body to your blog post. Really easy to do. And you can get some wonderful effects. Turns a sort of mediocre looking blog into something really interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.